Welcome to the long dark. It's day 10 and we have to get back to the uh, Hibernia processing plant because we left a stash of cache of uh, raw meat there, wolf meat, and that needs to be cooked. We need to get the uh, hacksaw. Now I, I might have made a mistake strategically there. I could have cooked that meat then, but then I wouldn't have been able to come here in the same day and return. And I did need to sleep before I cooked that meat, so that was the big decision there. And uh, I don't know if I made the right decision or not. Uh, we have we can bring back. We have one crowbar here, so these ones could we could uh, bring this one. We can harvest that one for metal at some point. bring a bit of wood with this. We were up to 22 kilograms out of 30 and we have just about everything. It's good to have lots of wood. I want to leave some of it here well, maybe there's not enough to spare. Oh, there's a book. Good, that'll be handy. We need to start a fire over by that wolf. Okay, next time we come here, there is no wood here. And we pretty well cleaned out this place. Uh, let's get the medicine out of here. Take everything. Okay, we're ready to roll. Getting down on our meat supplies. I think we left some back at Hibernia. Okay, we're all rested and ready to go. We have 11 hours of daylight, and it sounds like it's a pretty good day out there. I don't hear any wind. Now, there is one thing I wanted to do. And that was check the condition of the, uh, this is another way to go down. A little bit trickier. Come out in the same spot. I wanted to go check and see what happened to this carcass over here because uh, we left one over here. Uh, we left some guts and things here, I think. I don't know. Uh, and a little bit of meat. So I want to check the condition of that meat on that carcass just for a science experiment. It won't take very long to harvest it. And we have our hacksaw with us. So that's good. I don't see any wolves. I don't hear any wolves. I'm not going to go up to Katie's corner because we, we are in a bit of a hurry here. This shouldn't take very long. feathers? We did not get any more crow feathers. Okay. Well, we're going to take this meat. Are we still? I'm not going to bother with those guts. They take too long. 
Okay, let's check our... Let's check the time here. And, uh... Okay, we are not too bad for cold condition. Eat this. And the condition of that meat is... 16%. Lost an awful lot. So it's good for wolf bait. Those guts are going to disappear before we can get them anyways. And so will that carcass. That's what I think is going to happen. Let's check our... Good shape here. And here's some birds, that's always good. Uh, I'm going to save our stamina. Uh, good uh, buddy of ours who does also does. Uh, the long dark video recordings did some very uh, interesting experiments with wolves and evading wolves without getting into fights and uh, I'm not sure I could summarize it all here but uh, do take a look there is a wolf over there okay well, we're out of out of here he hasn't even noticed us and uh, so check out Jeltaz's uh, uh, YouTube uh, video channel. Uh, it's spelled G-E-L-T-A-Z. Just uh, type it into the search. Uh, hopefully he'll comment on this video. Uh, he often does. And then you'll be able to follow back to his, his channel. And uh, subscribe if you're a Long Dark fan. You'll, uh, you'll find that interesting. I'm a little worried if there's a wolf around here. I don't see any. Now we've got lots of, uh, We've got lots of wood, so we can start a fire out by this, uh... By this, a wolf carcass, if it's still here. It's still here. Uh, I had in mind that I would drop some of this wood off here. Uh... Because I think we only need about, well, we're gonna need wood. We have lots of wood back there. Well, I think I want to drop this wood off here. I want to build up a supply of wood at the, uh at the uh, Riken because uh, that will help us when we need to cook anything or when we need to start up uh, our uh, forge uh, because that will help us to raise the temperature and extend the length of the useful time of forging because it, it takes a fair amount of time to forge all those things you need like uh, you know a couple dozen uh, arrow, arrow points tips and uh, probably quite a bit of there's some cloth. Just gonna leave that here. in case uh, we come up on a wolf or something. Don't really need to take it because there's plenty of wood right back at the uh, at the uh, uh, 
Avernia processing station. Staff room there. And what's that out on the ice there? Looks like something up there. Hard to tell. One of the things we're going to do as soon as we get to this carcass, and hopefully there's no bears around here, we're going to check how long it's going to take to harvest them. That's one reason I want to start a fire up out here. And it will take one hour for the hide and one hour for the, the rest of them. Still there, he's frozen 100%. If we go up here, I usually go up the other side, but this is the easy side to get up. Just go up on this little snowbank here. And Bob's your uncle. Oops. There we go. And I guess it's the same as the other one. Okay, we have nine hours of daylight. It's perfect. It feels like minus six. We need to warm up, though. So that means we're going to need to take a little nap. I'll take one of these pieces of meat with me. Eighty-one percent. Interesting. Because I'm going to have to go for a nap here, it looks like. just to get warmed up. Well, maybe not. Because we, if we have the fire, that's going to warm us up. So, let's take a look again. Yeah, we, we're not, we're well rested. So we just need, just need some wood and we'll warm up right away. Where is the... Okay, so how much do we have now? We have, looks like eight, so that gives us four hours of cooking time, and we'll take a couple more, because we have, uh, we have two hours of, let's we warmed up, we're a little bit warmed up. We could go get the rifle for protection, but we do have the bow and arrow. So let's get the rest of this meat. We'll take it out there. Cook it. Okay. I want to keep an eye out that way. 
when I'm starting a fire. to the wolf because he's going to melt him. 97% uh, with paper matches so we'll use up the wooden ones. I did not hear any bear nor did I see one. Doesn't mean he's not in the vicinity. This fire will keep him at bay as long as we keep it going. And as it goes out our bear protection is gone unless we hear him coming up. And then we pop out a torch. Okay, that's enough to get the harvest done. Okay, so let's cook some of this meat. all this. Keep that one. 95. 86. 80. This one is 80. And this one is 80. And this 80. So they're all 80. Okay. So they kept overnight quite well when they were harvested in raw outdoors. And this guy now will take hours. Same. Oh. Didn't change. Okay. So some more wood. I'm going to cook some more meat here. We can do all this cooking indoors, that's the other thing we can do. I'm going to cook until we get down to almost close to two hours. Left on our fire. Got plenty of time left. That's going to thaw out that carcass really nice. Okay. Still have one piece of meat. And add fuel to the wind. Okay, the, yeah. Okay, the wind came out. That's not good.
Yeah, that was the risk of doing it that way. I. Well, we did learn something from that. We learned that the uh, with with the hacksaw, it didn't take any faster harvesting with uh, uh, all that uh, it was frozen or not. So we still have one raw piece here. Let's put the rest of this away. That's the piece that's going to get us sick if we eat it. Okay, so let's eat, eat that one. And what do we have for our water? Oh, we have almost no water. So that means we're going to have to, going to have to make water as well. And we have two sticks left here. So let's. few more. Uh, actually, two sticks is enough, but not enough for water, because we should make uh, lots of water. That takes care of our wood supply. Mm. Uh, we're winded. hours of daylight. I wonder if it's going to calm down enough for us to uh, go back out. minus five. Uh, it just was a brief gusty storm I think so uh, still fairly warm. We don't need it except for protection. So uh, I'm just going to equip with a torch and uh, let's just get the job done here. Did I get one gust already? Yeah, I did get one gust already. is the secret to getting up this? You have to get on the snow, eh? Yeah, that's what it works. Okay, okay. Nice to know that this outdoor storage thing works really well. That, uh, I can confirm that. I can confirm that. Yeah, I thought I saw something standing there for a second when I started coming in. These are empty, right?
torch because we can. And we're going to need to make fire, so. Okay, that's it for all that stuff. Let's head on down. There's a bit more wood around somewhere. We need to make lots of water. And we're not carrying the big hammer, so we can't really break stuff down fast either. making skill here. We do have some old torches around somewhere. They can be harvested down for sticks. Uh, here. Let's drop all of these secured. We'll just drop all of our all of our stuff in a pile here. Might as well get it get it back curing. torches. See if a torch will light. Well, it's, it's trying. Whenever I put a torch on, I don't get, usually to get any uh, fire time from it. So, but uh, it should work. It sort of worked. Okay, got us going. And for uh, maximum, I think it's five. We got three hours here. Need to cook, I might as well cook that right now. What happened to our torch? We dropped a torch somewhere. I think. It's somewhere in that pile of stuff, probably. Okay. So if we do. Five, that's the maximum. Five, and that's going to take uh, 20 minutes a liter. So, divide that by six. Uh, so three, three liters an hour. So let's, I think that's going to work. Let's try it. We had cancelled. Okay, it did. Now uh, we need a little more wood because uh, to boil that much water, it's going to take 50 minutes. And we could make even more water, but we need to drink some.
Now I'm going to wait on eating this. That's the last thing I'm going to do before I go to bed. Because uh, we're drained a bit, but we're, uh, we're not too hungry. We've got plenty of room for that. I think we can make some more water. Let's get some more sticks. and girls. And what do we got in our inventory? We have our wood, so we'll bring that upstairs. We're gonna need that. We could push it here and craft a bunch of stuff, but at the moment I want to get us See, there's more stuff we can break down here for wood. I'm assuming, yeah, there's lots of lots of boxes. And we have to harvest up some metal. We could do that. We could do that now. We could push the envelope. Uh, make sure I don't have any crafting. Yeah, I don't have anything that needs curing. Uh, I've got a bedroll here that needs to be put away. And I need to get off to bed. To rest. It's going to be pretty drained. Let's make sure there's nothing funny laying around here. We left anything in here. It's empty. Nothing in here. These are all empty. Let's go and drop this one. get food poisoning we got to get back here to get it cured anyways usually we do have antibiotics so if we get attacked uh, what else was I going to do? I was going to drop the uh, drop the bedroll right over here I 
should have really left. But, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we did learn the uh, decay rate for meat while well, it's in storage, and it's it's uh, it's pretty good. So that's uh, that's encouraging. I don't know if it makes any difference whether it's indoors or outdoors. We didn't test that. But since there's an outdoor storage locker there, that's probably what we'll use for raw meat. Okay, and uh, we'll catch you the next long dark. After we eat and drink. drop some of that off and I forgot to. That's alright. We'll do that later. Seven hours of darkness. Takes us up to almost day 11. That's it. See you later.